Hi, I'm Mark Fleming, open water coach and aqua fitness instructor. I'm here for Wetsuit Outlet in Orca to talk you through what's the difference between a swim wetsuit and a surf wetsuit. You might think that all wetsuits are the same, but a quick game of spot the difference brings up some subtle and some not so subtle differences. Now that's not saying you can't wear a surf wetsuit to swim in, of course you can. But when you're getting serious about swimming, you need a serious suit. The base construction of a swim wetsuit is very different to that designed for surfing. Priorities change in the construction where targeted areas of the body are provided with thicker or thinner neoprene to ensure maximum flexibility throughout the shoulders, buoyancy to elevate your chest and midriff, as well as thermal comfort. In short, these specialist swimming wetsuits are designed with swimmers' natural movements in mind where energy efficiency and drag reduction are paramount. In contrast, a surf wetsuit has to account for the amount of time you're not actually moving when sat out back waiting for the next set to roll in. Simple. Another big difference is the thickness of the neoprene or natural rubber equivalent. If you're a surfer, over 50% of your body is going to be exposed to the elements when not paddling for waves. Therefore, warmth is prioritised over flexibility, especially in winter wetsuits that can have a 6mm thick core. But for open water swimmers, you're constantly in movement and majoritively submerged. But what's the difference? Surely you'll still get cold. The answer is science. A wetsuit works by using your body to heat up the water trapped by the suit itself. A thicker wetsuit with a larger thermal lining means a higher insulating capacity and thus more warmth. The neck seal on surfing wetsuits is usually much higher than those made for swimming. This can make them uncomfortable for longer swims and due to the repetitive head and shoulder movements of front crawl, you are likely to get some serious chafing or surf rash. For swimmers, necklines are cut specifically to allow for increased head movement when swimming. Getting out of a wetsuit is not always easy. It feels like a rite of passage, one that isn't helped by cold fingers and aching legs. But when it comes to triathlons, it can be the difference between winning and losing, with transitions being classed as the fourth discipline in a triathlon. We recommend the Athlex Flow Triathlon Wetsuit. If you want to learn more about how best to put on and remove a swim wetsuit, be sure to check out our guide on how to care for your swim wetsuit. Yes, most wetsuits on the market are freestyle focused, but some are designed specifically for breaststroke with more flexibility in the inside leg panels and a reduction in buoyancy in the lower half of the wetsuit to accommodate your more upright position in the water. This is a great option for less competitive river swimmers or occasional sea swimmers looking to swim over the winter months. Now, that's not to say that you can't wear a breaststroke wetsuit for freestyle. It will still feel far superior to a surf suit. But if you are looking to switch things up or just getting started in open water swimming, we recommend getting a good all-rounder such as the Orca Vitalis High Vis.